Hi, I'm Brian Hare. I'm a researcher at ASTRON, the Netherlands Institute for Radio Astronomy. We are here at the LOFAR radio telescope, which I use to study lightning. Here we have a small spark generator called a Wimshurst. If I turn this crank, it will make sparks in between these two metal balls. And then over here we have a radio. If I turn it on, it'll make a, a little bit of static noise. And it'll actually pick up the radio waves that are being made by the sparks. This is very similar to like LOFAR, which is like a radio, but much more fancy and sophisticated, picking up radio waves being made by lightning. So now if I turn this, you can hear the static sound from the radio becoming quite a bit louder. Small sparks are like small lightning flashes. They emit lots of radio waves, which we can hear with the radio. So this is a bit of a demonstration about how LOFAR can also pick up and listen to the radio waves coming from actual lightning above LOFAR. We can use this data to image and map lightning as it gets started and grows through a thunderstorm and even as it connects to tall structures like wind turbines and tall buildings. We do this because we really don't actually understand lightning. We don't understand how it gets started, we don't understand how it grows, or why it does any of the other weird stuff that it does. So by making images in this way with LOFAR, we can try to probe the plasma of the lightning to understand how it's working. His door is always open. It's very good uh, working with him. We need to make sure the telescope actually does what it needs to do for lightning science. What I like about him is that he's always been very honest. If there is something he thinks that could be improved, he always tells me, which I really appreciate. I know he likes to paint this uh, uh, war hammer. He loves painting his little models. Brian is a really integral part of the Equity and Inclusion Committee with his creative ideas and the amount of time he puts in. He's one of these few people where you can talk to about instrumental stuff, technology and scientific stuff. I was part of the Astron Open Day. Ryan had brought in this virtual reality headset and it was very cool to look at the lightning thing he works on and how those things transfer through the atmosphere. I feel like he has a passion for actually understanding what's going on, pushing the limits of what we can do in lightning. It's, it's the next level, right? It's, it's really the thing we don't know about yet, about lightning, and that's really motivating to all of us here too make sure he can do his science. So now LOFAR is undergoing an upgrade phase, being upgraded to LOFAR 2. All the electronics are being replaced with newer, better versions. And now it's currently going through a testing phase to make sure everything's working properly. So now we're gonna do this on a bigger scale to see if the new LOFAR 2 electronics can detect these sparks. This is the very center of LOFAR, which has the densest array of antennas. Each one of these antennas is what we call a low band antenna or LBA. So we're just gonna make a few sparks here. So we see if the operating room can observe these. Welcome to the control room of our telescopes, where we schedule observations, monitor the system, and uh, look at the results. So, Brian is in the field right now. Let's have a look at the measurements to see if we can actually observe the sparks. And there's the spark, very clearly. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Emma. So we can clearly see in the plots the sparks very strongly as these vertical bars in the spectrogram plots. We'll be able to observe it even better than ever to understand the plasma physics of how it grows and propagates. Hopefully we'll even be able to see how lightning connects to these wind turbines behind LOFAR so we can also bring out some practical benefit from our research as well. It has been very nice showing you around Astron and talking to you about the science of observing lightning with LOFAR. Please vote for me in the New Scientist Science Talent 2025. Thank you.
Brian, vote for Brian, vote for Brian.